So it's uh, two o'clock, it's Friday, and uh, we're just running some brickwork in now. I'll tell you what we've got done so far today. Uh, did start walling till 10.30 today again, so same as yesterday, we had to load up and flat start, etc. Um, yeah, we're looking for an apprentice to uh, give us a bit of a give us a bit of an hand, I think. But yeah, check it out. So that's all up. Back, front, there's a little tray to cut in on top of them briquettes. Uh, yeah, so got a thousand brick loaded down this gable. And we're doing a big big corner because we're on the clays as usual. Got a full tub of gobbo, uh, so in reckon in two hours we'll use it all. So yeah. Right, get some head cam in a bit before we finish. Right, see you in the next one. Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Brick Lane vlog. Um, I'm just coming straight into the voiceover part today. I didn't manage to get any sort of raw footage with the uh, with the head cam audio, but I've dug out uh, through rooting through loads of drawers in the house. Uh, my other mounts for my uh, you know, Mercaso, because uh, I'm planning on getting a GoPro pretty soon uh, in the next couple of months, which I've been saying for probably the past year. Um, I'm, uh, I've been just looking at uh, different ways to mount the camera so we can get a better audio feed. Um, you know, when I'm just laying, you know, when it's the, when the site's quiet and I get a bit of laying footage, a bit of ASMR sort of shit. Um, because I know a lot of people have commented about the audio of the head cam. It's fuck. It is terrible, you know. Um, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna mount the camera differently without the, uh, you know, without the protective case, and we'll see if that makes a difference to the audio, you know, um, with it not being in that airtight, you know, watertight box. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. And this bit, this bit of footage, we're just running in the uh, brickwork. Uh, this was the start, this was Friday's footage, uh, so this was the second day on this plot, uh, we're running in, running in all the brickwork, um, you know, uh, this is clay brick, so I've gone back to building the big corners, um, if I'm on Connie's, uh, depending on how many movement joints there are, I'll probably just do uh, what I did last time, the big, big long 50 brick run, uh, 55 brick run, uh, because obviously the jointing, don't, you know, the pointing doesn't uh, isn't an issue. It doesn't go off. So, uh, or if there's expansions, uh, I'll probably build all my expansions first corners. Uh, after I saw the pattern construction, he's doing his plots of out pretty similar to how these are with the expansions and the corners. Uh, but yeah, back to using the. Uh, uh, the, you know the 10 inch, you know the 10 inch Tizak. Um This is just the wooden handled version one, so just a standard. The little plastic uh, tapping cap comes off after a while, so it's not really something you use anyway. You know, if you're uh, with a with a trowel this size, there's not really tons of point flicking using the heel of the trowel to tap the the uh, tap the block, you know, or tap the brick. You know, there's very rare times I actually tap the brick. Or tap the block so you know just all should be done with your hands and your thumbs um, that brings me on to another point you know my th your thumbs you've got to take care of your thumbs um, you know mine at the moment both my thumbs are really sore uh, especially around the nail you can get crap in crap into your thumbs around the nail if you don't keep changing your gloves often or you don't keep wrapping your thumbs with um, Olympic Olympic tape you know um, Sometimes, like you know, rock, you know, rock climbing tapes, stuff like that, because they can get a lot of wear, especially like myself, that I basically press all my gear down to the line. I don't do any tapping or tippy tapping uh, very often. So you know, the, you, your thumbs do get a lot of wear when you're on the uh, lower courses. Here, you can use the more flat of your thumb, so not as much as your tip, but more of your flat of your thumb when you're at this height. You can, you see there, I'm pressing with the, the tip of my thumb. And then on the other the other bricks, I had my thumb more flat. Uh, but the tip of you know when you're pressing with the tip of your thumb, um, it's normally more on these perforated clay bricks because you need to be a little bit more 
uh, easy with them because they'll go down a little bit easier with the big holes. But like on the Connies, on like a on a like a frog brick, um, you know the brick t tends to resist pressing down to the line a little bit more, so you can use a flat ear thumb a bit. So uh, yeah, uh, I've been alternating between using you know regular pick and dip and sort of long spread with the with this 10 inch trowel you're just basically doing a two pick and dip every time you every other trowel for a gobbo you, you know so you'll pick a trowel for a gobbo up with this 10 inch and it'll spread for two bricks more or less and if you pick another trowel for up you can then basically spread for three and then it's like a bit of an intermediate pick and dip so you're not picking a trowel for mortar up every time with a brick it's two trowels for mortar to like uh, four bricks you know so or five or six bricks, depending on how much you get on the trowel. Um, but yeah, I find it I find it a little bit easier that way with uh, working around the scaffold, working around um, a number of things, a number of things. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it depends on the brick as well with the Connies. Uh, the, the long spread potential with this trowel is good. You know, really good to get a big spread out. And sometimes, you know, uh, although I do like pick and dip, you know, the long spread can be a little bit more. You have to think about it less because you don't have to think about picking a brick up every time you you uh, go to get a trowel for mortar. It's you know you can get me into a little bit more of a steady rhythm with the long spread, and it depends. You know, some days I do pick and dip, pick and dip normal, and some days I do the long spread style. So uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely recommend for a hot day these sort of elongated big corners. You don't you, a lot of guys think you know just a big corner can be. You know, 12 bricks out one side, 12 bricks out the other to get you to 24, 25 course, depending on how I reach. Uh, but no, you can even go, you know, you can go a little bit further than that. If you're running in the back, you could go, uh, you know, go 15, 16 out one side, 15, 16 out the other. And you'll, you know, knock out a big chunk of your gable. Uh, and I've always reducing every course, so the pointing doesn't feel as overwhelming, especially when it's super, super hot and you don't have to stop pointing all the time. So yeah, but I'll uh, end the voice over here. I've still got quite a bit of a cold progressing. Uh, but you know, it's middle of summer, so it doesn't really affect you too much. But uh, I'll uh, I'll see you guys in next video. I've gone and get some footage today. Been a bit busy at the weekend and uh, a bit busy throughout this week so far. Uh, so I've not had a chance to really put as much effort into the videos, but I'll uh, I'll be back on it soon. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys uh, uh, in the next video, and enjoy the rest of the footage.
nothing to fear Oh, I know you'll find someone who hears you Oh, I know you'll find someone who helps you through the day It'll soon be clear When you find someone who hears you Find someone Who loves the things you say oh. It's okay to ask for help Don't need to fix it all by yourself
shatty now. Have to fucking leave them a bit off at line a bit. Just let them fucking set a bit. Wowee, Steve. Shit. It does, doesn't it? Fucking thumb's killing my bro. My, my thumb is killing. So it's uh, just gone half four, um, another, another bit of a late one today but we got quite a lot done, um, I'll show you, show you what we got done in the end. So yeah, that's what we got done, we got uh, about 550, 600 bricks maybe, um, under a block in today, and uh, we're all loaded out here for Saturday, you know, we've got a good run there, a good 17 course to go at, that's like a 30... 35 brick run, so you know, good 500, good full tub, more worth anyway. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.